I'm Adrienne and this is XOXO Cooks, the show where every week we make a recipe that fits into your busy life. Today I have a very special guest from the cooking show Brothers Green Eats. Yeah, to me, just one brother though. Just Josh, one. gone. I'm Mike. But yeah, we are from the Brothers Green. I represent the Brothers Green right now at least. We are cooking <laughs> delicious pizza pockets. So the first thing is we need to make the dough. And so I like to use the bread machine because it's so easy and you can make it on your way out the door. This thing's blowing my mind. I mean, just, Andrew was telling me about it, like I've been hand kneading dough. And then I find out you can just throw it in this metal contraption Machines. and push a button and you have fresh bread. I'm a little angry, but I'm also happy that this is out there. So it's like mixed emotions right now. Start with a cup and a half of water, pour that in. And then you need three cups of flour. And I usually will mix up a little bit of white flour, a little bit of whole wheat flour, but right now I only have whole wheat flour in the house. So this will be all whole wheat flour, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. We want a little bit of olive oil, uh, that much. Salt, one tablespoon of yeast. Awesome. And that's it. Yeah. So then this just goes in the bread machine on the dough setting. So mine's gonna have zucchini and jalapeno and artichoke. Cool, and I have roasted red peppers and some broccoli I roasted. I think the easiest method when you're doing um, small little guys is definitely chop them up and roll them individually. Go around the outside while you're turning it. And then you can kind of pick it up and stretch. Like you're in a pizzeria? Exactly. Ooh. Let's start topping them. We got some sauce. Yeah. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can use like barbecue sauce. Oh, that's, that's true. That's where those drunk pizzas come from. That's true. There's a lot of options. Buffalo sauce, or you don't even need a sauce. You can just do olive oil. So I've got mozzarella cheese. I think the hardest part is not filling it up too much because you, you get you get crazy because you want everything in there and then the thing explodes on you. So we go. You can even go around with a, um, a fork to make it look oh, super yeah. fancy. And then we can drizzle it with a little bit of oil. Yeah. Yours looks a lot better than mine. It's, it's not about looks, it's about <laughs> taste and how much fun you had. Pizza pie. Woo! <laughs> Once you can really just figure out how to make pizzas from scratch. Even like making tomato sauce from scratch, you take it a step further, you know, sauteing mm -hmm. vegetables. That's like so many of the skills you already need to know in the That's kitchen. That's true, yeah. It's like if you can just focus on making homemade pizza, you know, start with pre-made dough and then work your way up, slow steps. Yeah. So just get in there and try to make it. Those things are ready to go. Don't All right. You think? Do you want yeah. to do another? Let's do one more. All right. Good, but not done yet. Oh yeah. Wow. Little leakage, just like we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it. Pizza These look pockets. Fantastic. Not to mention I haven't eaten in three days because <laughs> I've been on a juice cleanse. So I'm kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> I love making pizza from home because you can control the levels of sauce and cheese. Where it's like you don't have to feel like shit after you eat, you know, like a greasy, cheesy pizza. It's mm -hmm. like this is like light and nice. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up this video. And be sure to subscribe to Brothers Green Eats. A lot of fun stuff like this. Quick, easy recipes. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making this. Thanks for teaching me about uh. Those green things. Yeah, exactly.